Nowadays, it's quite easy to watch movies. Unlike 10 years ago, everything is on demand, even new releases. We have Netflix, Amazon, Hulu, HBO, Disney, Paramount, and many more for when you want a classic viewing experience. Then, Mubi or Criterion for something a bit more art house. The options are endless, however, it can get a bit pricey. If you were to subscribe to all of the streaming services I've just mentioned, and that isn't even all of them, it would cost you well in excess of £80 a month, which you could instead put towards something that would further your career. Which is why in today's video, I want to look at a few films that you can watch right now for free. I'm not talking about anything on BBC or Channel 4, as those are location dependent, and everything I'll mention today is legal and can be found on YouTube, so there will be a link in the description below. There are some indie films in here, some classics, and a couple of shorts, so I'm sure you'll find something that you'll like. But without further ado, let's get into the movies. Starting off, I have Richard Linklater's feature directorial debut, It's Impossible to Learn to Plow by Reading Books, one of my favourite directorial debuts from one of my my favourite filmmakers. It's an ultra low budget drama featuring little dialogue and is more of an observational piece of art than a film. Due to its experimental approach to filmmaking and emphasis on the importance of the filmmaking process itself over narrative, the film showcases the potential of independent cinema and encourages filmmakers to explore unconventional storytelling methods. Link later later came on to become one of the greatest indie filmmakers of all time. The 1997 rendition of Funny Games is an intense and thought provoking exploration of violence in cinema and the audience's role in consuming it. Director Michael Haneke challenges viewers to confront their relationship with on-screen brutality, utilising innovative techniques such as breaking the fourth wall and narrative rewinding to explore the topic further. Funny Games serves as an example of how to provoke discussion and engage with difficult themes while pushing the boundaries of traditional storytelling. With an excellent demonstration of visual storytelling, character development and mood setting, Masayuki Sao's Shall We Dance creates a poignant atmosphere of longing and romance through graceful camera work and a beautiful soundtrack. While the main character's transformation through his dance journey showcases the power of character growth in storytelling, Shall We Dance can inspire filmmakers to explore their character's emotional depth and tell captivating stories through compelling visual language. Charade is an expert's demonstration of the thriller genre. Director Stanley Donan skillfully employs misdirection and audience manipulation to create an atmosphere of suspense and surprise. The film's stunning cinematography, sets design and iconic performances by Audrey Hepburn and Cary Grant have solidified its status as a timeless classic. Charade provides an exceptional example for aspiring filmmakers to learn about the principles and techniques of suspenseful storytelling, character development, and visual aesthetics in the thriller genre. George Romero's Night of the Living Dead's innovative use of low-budget filmmaking techniques resulted in a groundbreaking film that challenged traditional horror tropes and established a new paradigm for the genre. Its blend of social commentary, graphic violence, and realistic gore broke new ground and inspired a generation of filmmakers. Its bold style and subversive themes make it a central viewing for any filmmaker interested in horror or independent independent filmmaking. Next, a short film by Tom Sachs. Paradox Bullets offers a unique and unconventional approach that other films mentioned today could never achieve. Aspiring filmmakers should watch it for its innovative use of practical effects, handmade props, and lo-fi production values that challenge traditional filmmaking methods. Sachs films showcase the boundless creative potential of the medium and serve as a reminder to filmmakers that resourcefulness and creativity are just as valuable as high-end equipment and visual effects. As for a couple of older films, A Trip to the Moon was a pioneer in film history. The Silence film, directed by George Milliers, revolutionised the use of special effects and served as a foundation for narrative cinema. Its influence on the development of film as an art form is significant, and studying this classic film can provide a greater appreciation for the history and craftsmanship of filmmaking than any other film mentioned today. And finally, Unshi and Andalou. It's an experimental and surrealist masterpiece directed by Louis Brunel and Salvador Dali. Its dreamlike imagery and non-linear narrative structure challenge conventional storytelling and expand the boundaries of filmmaking. By studying this film, film Filmmakers can cultivate a more innovative and unconventional approach to storytelling and a view into the theoretical side of filmmaking that you won't get watching modern movies. In conclusion, remember that filmmaking is an art form that requires constant study, appreciation and practice. By watching films from different eras and genres, we can expand our understanding of the craft and develop our own unique style. These three films are just a starting point. There are countless other movies out there that can inspire and educate us. Keep an open mind and keep learning and you'll be on your way to becoming a better filmmaker. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you know what to do, if you did have a recommendation for an analysis, leave it down below. Thanks so much for watching and maybe I'll see you next time. Bye.